at the Wrath Gate. The Horde's partnership killed more of our men than the Scourge. I'm done with your Horde. After the loss of Galneas City, Greymane retreats to Greymane Manor, where he tries to think of a plan to safeguard his people from the invading Forsaken forces. Greymane encountered Belrisa, a night elven priestess who explained the origin of the Worgen curse and offered up a partial cure. She explained to Greymane that the Worgen released by Aragal were once night elven druids who had fallen victim to a cursed and corrupted druid form around 10,000 years ago during the conflict known as the War of the Seder. Balrisa explained that a night elven priestess ritual was a palliative method to letting the infected Ghanaians keep their mind intact while in their woven form. But if the Ghanaians still held on to guilt of any kind, he or she could not switch back into human form at will. Still keeping his infection hidden from even his family, Greymane let her perform a compact version of this ritual on him. And when the Shattering sends Duskhaven underwater, he decides to move the evacuees further inland and sends the Ghanaian survivors towards Stormglen and stagecoaches. He later journeys to Tal Duren, the home of the Ghanaian Worgen who underwent the ritual, and reunites them with the now Worgen Lord Darius Crowley and his army of Worgen. Greymane and Godfrey wished for Crowley and his Worgen to join forces against the Forsaken. Crowley remained skeptical of joining forces with Greymane, especially alongside Godfrey, who had a noted prejudice against those afflicted with the Worgen curse. Greymane replied that he came to Crowley as an equal, and revealed to Crowley and Godfrey that he too was infected by the curse. Upon seeing such an event, Crowley was satisfied and pledged allegiance to the king, However, Godfrey was not so sure. Having learned of Greymane's worgen affliction, Lord Godfrey and his supporter Lord Walden and Baron Ashbury betray Gulneas by attempting to turn Greymane over to the Forsaken and held him hostage at Tempest Reach. Under orders from Crinan Aranis, Walden and Ashbury were killed. Greymane was rescued and Lord Godfrey's machinations were foiled by adventurers. Instead of letting himself be arrested for treason, Godfrey killed himself, stating he'd rather die than have a worgen as his king. Upon such an event, Gen decided to stop concealing his affliction with the curse, showing it to the people of his kingdom, and they accepted him gladly. Greymane then participated in the Battle of Gilneas City in order to reclaim the city from the Forsaken, personally calling out and attacking Sylvanas Windrunner, the leader of the Forsaken. During the ensuing battle, his son Liam Greymane is killed by a poisoned arrow from Sylvanas Windrunner that was actually intended for Greymane. Gen, Crowley, and Lorna Crowley had a funeral ceremony for Liam at Adderich Repose shortly before the Gilneans were forced to leave in a mass exodus of Gilneas, leaving it in the hands of the Forsaken.